don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back to the channel happy happy new month to all of you my subscribers to all of you guys happy new month it's the month of august and football club football is coming back this month the premier league will kick off this month spanish la liga and italian serie a cristiano ronaldo featuring for italian serie a giants juventus that will be interesting but before all that begins the women's world cup will kick off on the 5th of august that's this sunday the ghana black princesses are already landed in france you can see them in the pictures on your screen they've landed in france with that coach you see basili and they will be taking on uh, france in the opener on sunday 5th august i'll bring you reports on the score lines and other stuff if i can give you highlights i will but it promises to be an interesting month thank you guys so much for all the support all the comments the likes and the dislikes it, it, it help it makes me know what i'm not doing right i appreciate all of you thank you thank you very much so today i'll give you a few stories yesterday i brought you a story concerning cameroon that's where i begin concerning cameroon and their inability to prepare for the afcon 2019 which will feature 24 teams now now CAF has come out to say that with clarification on that news i brought yesterday according to him he's saying that CAF president has reviewed that the final decision on Cameroon's hosting of the 2019 AFCON Cup of Nations will be taken in Congress in September. So there was widespread reports earlier on that Cameroon Monday that, um, in Egypt that um, Morocco had been given the rights by CAF. But he's clarifying that they will discuss that at the Congress on in September to finally decide if Cameroon have really defaulted and are in incapable of hosting the World Cup. It's the last year when the issue of Cameroon's players surfaced with Morocco accused of angling to take over the competition, the North American pledged their allegiance to help Cameroon host a successful competition. But with the progress of work set to be overly delayed, CAF is likely to consider other options with Morocco very high on the agenda, according to Showbear. Cameroon's ability to stay the event has been under scrutiny with concerns over preparations for the tournament. So, next month for sure we will know whether Cameroon will still be hosting the AFCON 2019, which will be featuring 24 teams for the first time. And also, um, um, we will be featuring 24 teams and will be held in the summer for the first time. And the qualification for the round of 16 for the 24 teams will also be something interesting to look at. So. We'll see. It will be like the Euro 2016, how it was in 24 teams, and I think it will be interesting to see. So we'll move on to my next story. We want to remember Ghanaian for Derek as Derek Boateng. He has now joined Europa FC as a player coach. A Ghanaian midfielder is set to arrive in, G in Gibraltar to sign for Europa FC. Um, so he's 35 years old now. Derek Boateng. He was a very very famous Ghanaian footballer. He is now going for his first role as coach. He's going to be a player coach for Europa FC. He played 47 times for Ghana at the senior level and was part of the talented under 20 side that finished second in Argentina in the 2001 World Cup, around under 20 World Cup. So, yeah, that's for Derek Watting. He's also going to the coaching field. I think what's um, like instinct to these other former players to do. Some of them are following the footsteps and they're watching, wish him all the best. And it's as he ventures into the new role as a coach. Now, Ghanaian footballer Kwame Bonsu freed in Sweden after a year in jail. This was a footballer, Ghanaian footballer, who had been released from prison after he was charged. He was charged for raping and assaulting his wife a year ago. The player, who was initially jailed for two years, had his sentence reduced to a year and 10 months. After just a year, the midfielder who played for Gaffo have now been free and could return to playing football. So that's good news. Information gathered before his conviction indicated a Swedish woman named Maria framed up and decided to find a way to grab a final booty from the Ghanaian player. He met, first met her in 2014 when he was playing in sovereign Swedish city of Malby. They married the following year. Few months after the wedding, he signed a transfer to the town of Gavi, located 300 kilometers from Morbi. 
The victim said the rape and beatings took place in the couple's apartment during an evening in November 2020 when he refused to let her out. Bosu repeatedly denied the claims, but testimony from his wife's relatives led the court to believe the victim's version of events. So he was actually innocent, served time, I think his sentence was reduced, and he served his time, he's now out. We wish him all the best, and we hope he's smarter and wiser next time. You know how this, some of these foreign players, they move to the foreign countries and they just rush into relationships with the foreigners out there. But from this story, it's very, very dangerous to do that. You have to be very, very careful. I have obviously, the woman was trying to exploit him, take his money and all that, and she did that eventually. But hope, thankfully, he didn't spend that much time in jail and he can get back to his football and to his life. I'm happy for him. A Ghanaian footballer, Kwame Bonsu. We're happy you are out, my brother. So, I'm on to my next story, and it's about Ghana football. We all know Ghana football is in turmoil right now, trying to reform, finding reforms to make it better, you know. And Alaji Grusa, um, he's going to contest for the, he's hoping to contest for the GFA presidency. He's a bank ruler for King Faisal FC. Alaji Brusa has declared his intention to contest the presidency of the Ghana Football Association. Their controversial administrator believes he is the right person to turn the fortunes of Ghana football around. He said, just give me four years and I will turn around the game for the best. Speaking to our grab based Happy FM, where he said, I am the right person to turn the GFA president, to become the GFA president. The only thing that will prevent me from contesting next year is sickness, he added. He also revealed that he will be make SWAG president come now by his special aid to help manage the association. Inshallah, he said, I will contest for the GFA president 2019. I'm not joking. SWAG president come now by will be my special aid to rep with to help with the English. He aided, he said. So Alaji Gusa eyeing GFA presidency. That's interesting. That's Alaji Gusa there, and I, I I hope he's just not joking and will bring needed reforms to Ghana football that we need. So Jimmy Cobbler, next to my next story, Jimmy Cobbler who is head coach of the National Under 20 side, the Black Satellite. And the Black Satellite are set to face Benin this weekend, uh, Saturday 4th of August. And he said it would not come easy but they poised for the job. He said the boys were working hard towards overcome a side that had exhibited quality football in the qualifiers. So Kwabna in an interview said, I went to Togo to watch Benin and I must confess, they are really good. I asked my people to, in Togo to monitor them and when I get information on their style of play, I want to check myself later. They have quality team and play very well for very good aggressive football. But the honors lies on us to beat them and qualify for the African Youth Championship that will be coming up next year in Niger 2019. And Ghana will hope to qualify this weekend, 4th of August, in Cape Coast Sports Stadium against Benin. Hopefully, they will go through. So, my final, last and final story will be taken from Lai Charles Taylor, former Heart of Oak legend Charles Taylor. He said, resuming the Ghana Premier League now would be unsafe. I think he's part of those in support of starting the whole league afresh. So I said, starting the league now is not advisable at all. Right now, everything is in the hands of supporters. If we make the mistake of starting the league now, referees will be killed because fans are really angry at them. So any little mistake by a referee will warrant some beatings. Referees should know that people don't trust them anymore. They must redeem themselves in the eyes of the Ghanaians. I wasn't really surprised they announced this. Nobody can tell me that they have never taken money before. All those managing a national team have set a pride before. In fact, all of them, he added. So he's of the view that no one is innocent in this analysis exposé. No one is free to go, um, not to be a corporate. We are, they are all fallible in this sense. And, well, yeah, he could have a point. He's also a former player. Uh, he was involved in a team that's a house of hope team that played protocol on May 9th in that, in that stadium disaster when hearts beat protocol. Protocol fans were not happy. That tragic, tragic day. So that's what I'll say. Like he feels right now, no, it's not good to start the league. Let's find better reforms. Otherwise, referees will be lynched on the pitch. If a fan, if a group of fans don't agree with some of the decisions or find some of the decisions suspicious, 
so that is from Charles Taylor's friends that's it for today guys and thank you for watching um premier league i'll be doing reactions to premier league games i'll be bringing you results and reports on the under 20 women's world cup in france happening in france and the under 20 black satellites will be playing Berlin this weekend in that get Cape Coast sports stadium i'll bring you more news on that yes so month of august is here hope you guys have a great month i know i will and enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to bet with one expert one expert offers you the best deals you can ever afford you can never imagine the best deals you can ever imagine i'll leave a link in the description as usual click on one expert register and use the promo code to register with it and start a chance of winning amazing prizes this coming season i've been your host Alassi tomorrow we'll meet again see you guys in the next one